Hi Lizzie here. Today I'm going to show you how to make a box frame like this one here. Um, I have completed one here and um, I will refer back to it just um, from my own memory just so I know where I am or what stage I should be creating things at. Right, we need first of all we need to go to the uh, rectangle and this video may be done in two parts as um, it's quite a long video. Uh, it will be a long video after I finished with it. Uh, first of all we need to draw a box so if you press the shift key while holding it it will constrain it. Now the box size we want to 6 inches. Um, go to the scale key, uh, select 6, make sure the lock aspect ratio is selected and click apply. Center that to your page. Next what we want to do is create these dotted lines here. You select the law, uh, line tool, you hold the shift key while you're drawing it and it will constrain it in a horizontal position. Again select the line. I want to um, again scale that to 6 inches wide and apply. Now I want to line it up with the top of this square. So go to the alignment tool and press align top. Come off of the square and select the line only. As it's on the top of the square it should be easy to select. If the line was behind the square it makes it more difficult to select. So make sure that your line is on top of your square. Uh, you can do that by right clicking and you can send things to the front to the back or bring it forward. If it's at the back just select bring to front. I know mine's at the front because it was the last thing I drew. Again select the line. Um, I want to duplicate these now. Uh, if I go to the uh, replicate window at the top, none of the options here are what I want so I'm going to the advanced options here. I want six copies. I think that's six, let's just refer back. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, yeah, six copies. And I want them an inch, spaced an inch apart. So make sure that the X position is at one inch. And keep your fingers crossed and Let's press replicate. Oh, no, I didn't select the line. Let's select the line, press replicate. Ah, ha, ha, it's gone the wrong way. Well, at least I know now that the X position is going from right to left and the Y position will be going down. Okay, let's control Z that and change these over. Oh, first of all, I need to. Oh, I know why. It's. I should have pressed custom position. Let's try that again. Yeah, as I thought, the X position goes from right to left. So let's control Z that. Let's change these over from 0 to 1. I want 6 copies. Let's replicate that. There we go. I want to turn all these lines, bar that one in the middle, into dotted lines. So I'm going to select the whole lot. I'm going to hit, select my shift key and select the, deselect the square and the middle line. Go to the um, line style window and select uh, dots. There we go. Now I don't want that square anymore so I'm just going to move it off to the side. Select the top one and the bottom one, and I'm going to control s press C. Sorry, not control C, control F will duplicate one on top of the other. I want to rotate those 90 degrees. 
and I'm going to turn those back into a solid line. Let's hope this... Can you see now? That's what I'm trying to achieve and have done. I don't think I need that square anymore but I won't delete it just yet just in case I'll need it later. The next thing I want to do is just bring these dotted lines in a bit. I don't want them going all the way up to the cut end. So let's go to the scale window and let's say 5.8 and apply. That brings all the dotted lines in a bit. Right, now the next thing I need to do is, let's go back to here to remind myself, what did I do next? I want to create this square here. Let's go take this spare square here and I'm going to make that 8 inches. Press the lock aspect. Uh, it does help to select the box. Lock aspect ratio and apply. And let's make sure that is centered to the page as well. I'm now going to turn that into a dotted line style. No, I'm not. I'm going to undo that. Control Z and undo that. And I'm going to break apart the points. So you go to the node key up here, and I want to select this one, this one. Hold the shift key while you're selecting them. And then go to break path. Now we need to release that path and now each one of these becomes a separate line. Now the side lines I want to duplicate that's the original line and I now want to duplicate it three more times. So take this one and I go back to the replicate tool back to the advanced options this time I want to go in the X to right to left make that zero I want three copies let's just check was it three copies yes three copies excuse me my cat's howling Right, sorry about that, I'm back now. My um, cat was um, demanding its uh, dinner. Right, now I will get back to creating the sides because uh, we want these uh, lines about an inch apart. If we go back to the, um, you can see there, that's the inside of the frame, but we want to do this the same to the outside of the frame. So let's go back and take this line and we want to go an inch apart three times let's hit the replicate button now you want to do the same to the left now if I hit the same thing it's going to make three lines to the right now I don't want it to go to the right I want it to go to the left so I'm going to put a minus in front of the one and hit replicate there we go go back right okay sorry one one now this top one I want to for it to reach out to the sides here so if I select the whole lot I know that it's 14 inches so top line select the bottom one Hold the shift key to select both. Go back to the scale, select type 14 and apply. There we go. And we want to make those into dotted lines. So go to the line style, select your dots, 
dashes even. And we want to do the same with those four and those four. Okay, 